welcome to the End East Edu Corner and welcome sa ating panibagong tutorial about math shortcuts. Tiyak na magagamit ito lalo na ng mga nagte-take ng exams para mas mabilis ma-solve ang mga problems about fractions. Mag-start tayo with addition of fractions. Ang ating given ay dissimilar fractions, so magkaiba ang ating denominators. In this shortcut, hindi tayo gagamit ng pagkuha ng LCD. Now, kung gusto nyong i-review paano nga ba nakukuha si LCD, pwede nyong panoorin ng aking video or tutorial about addition and subtraction of simple fractions. Nandoon yung full method kung paano makukuha ang LCD, yung buong process. Naka-indicate yun sa link ng video na to sa ilalim. Now, balik tayo sa ating given. Ibumultiply lang natin si 3 at saka si 5 to get what we call common denominator. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. 3 times 5, we have 15. So, indicate natin dito, 15. Paano natin makukuha yung nasa itaas? Gagawin lang natin is to multiply 2 into 5 and then 1 doon sa 3. So, parang nagka-cross multiply lang tayo. So, 2 times 5, the answer is 10. And yun ang ilalagay natin sa ating numerator. Kopyahin natin yung ating operation which is addition. And then 1 times 3, the answer is 3. So what we're going to do is to copy our common denominator which is 15. And i-add natin 10 plus 3, answer is 13. So tignan natin yung ating final answer kung naka lowest term na. Kung naka lowest term na ito, this will be our final answer. So yun lang yung ating gagawin para sa ating addition of fractions using the shortcut. Now, let's have another example. Ang ating given is 1 and 1 half plus 1 third. So, as you can see, meron tayo ditong mixed fraction. Iko-convert muna natin ito into improper fraction bago natin i-apply yung ating shortcut method. So, paano natin yun gagawin? I-multiply lang natin si denominator kay whole number and then yung product doon, i-add natin kay numerator. So, eto siya. So, we have 2 times 1. Answer is 2. And then, 2 plus 1, we have 3. Yun na yung ating bagong numerator. Okay? So, we have 3. And then, kukopyahin lang natin yung ating denominator na 2. Copy lang natin yung given natin na 1 third. Okay? So, we have 3 over 2 plus 1 third. Pwede na natin i-apply yung ating shortcut. So, we have 2 times 3. We have 6. And then, cross-multiply para makuha natin yung numerators. 3 times 3, we have 9. Copy natin yung addition sign. And then, 1 times 2, answer is 2. Ngayon, ikokopyahin lang natin yung ating common denominator, which is 6. Doon sa ating sagot, 9 plus 2, we have 11. So, our answer is an improper fraction. Pwede nyo rin naman gawin yan into mixed fraction. Next, Proceed naman tayo with subtraction of fractions. Ang ating given ay another dissimilar fractions. So, we have 2 fifths minus 1 fourth. Okay? Gagabitin natin yung method na ginawa natin sa addition. Yun nga lang, ang operation natin ay subtraction. So, multiply lang natin 5 times 4 para makuha natin yung common denominator which is 20. Okay? Multiply lang 5 times 4. And then, paano natin makukuha yung ating numerators? Okay, kagaya lang kanina, cross multiply. 2 times 4, answer is 8. Kopyahin lang natin sa subtra subtraction sign. And then 1 times 5, answer is 5. Then simply subtract 8 minus 5 and then kopyahin natin si 20 na ating common denominator. So 8 minus 5, that is 3. Observe kung ito ay nasa lowest term na. And kung nasa lowest term na, that is our final answer. Okay, let's proceed. Now, what if we have three terms or three fractions here? Okay, so we have one-fourth minus one-fifth plus two-thirds. Ang gagawin natin is, again, to multiply all these denominators, okay, para makuha natin yung common denominator. So, we have four times five times three, answer is 60. Paano natin kukunin yung nasa itaas or yung mga numerators natin? So, tignan mabuti. Si 1, ang gagawin natin dyan is multiply natin doon sa dalawang denominators. Hindi kasali yung denominator niya mismo. Okay? 
So we have 1 times 5, the answer is 5. And then 5 times 3, answer is 15. So yun yung una. And then kopyahin natin yung ating subtraction sign. Next is yung pangalawang numerator. Okay, we have 1. Imo-multiply naman natin doon sa other denominators maliban sa denominator niya. So, we have 1 times 4. Okay, we have 4. And then, 4 times 3, answer ay 12. Okay? Basta iiwasan natin yung denominator mismo ng ating given numerator. Okay, next. We have 2. 2 times, ano naman natin siya imo-multiply? 2 times 5, at saka dito sa 4. Okay? So, ulitin natin. 2 times 4, we have 8. 8 times 5, answer is 40. Okay? So, kopihin lang natin yung addition sign doon sa ating given. So, ito na. We have 15 minus 12 plus 40. So, ulitin natin kung paano nakuha itong numerator. So, ano, malinaw naman tayo dito sa ating denominator. Minultiply lang natin yan para, para makuha natin yung 60. So, dito, balik tayo para makuha yung unang numerator. We have 1 times 5, which is 5 times 3. We have 15. So, manood. Itong 1 times 4, we have 4 times 3, answer ay 12. Okay? And then next, 2 times 4, answer is 8, times 5, we have 40. So, kinopya lang natin yung subtraction at saka yung addition sign. Ngayon, perform the indicated operation, 15 minus 12 plus 40, yun yung ating magiging numerator. So, kopyahin natin sa 60 and then anong magiging numerator? 43. Observe kung nasa lowest term na ito. Okay, kung naka lowest term, this will be our final answer. Okay, now let's have one more example ng ating tatluhang fractions. We have here 3 fourths minus 2 fifths plus 1 half. We multiply 4 times 5 times 2. Para makuha natin yung ating common denominator, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 40. Ulit, 4 times 5 times 2, that is equal to 40. Yun ang ating denominator. Next, kunin natin yung ating numerators. 3 times 5, that is 15. 15 times 2, answer is 30. Ulit, 3 Itong numerator natin, times 5, answer is 15, times 2, we have 30. And then, kopyahin natin si subtraction sign. Next is 2 times 4, we have 8. 8 times 2, answer is 16. Again, 2 times 4, we have 8. 8 times 2, answer ay 16. Kopyahin si addition sign. Next is yung ating huling numerator, multiply natin with 4. So, 1 times 4, answer is 4. And then, 4 times 5, we have 20. Okay? So, yun, so yun na yung ating numerators. Okay, 30 minus 16 plus 20. So, perform the indicated operation. So, we have... Okay, kopyahin natin. 40 yung ating denominator. And then, 34 yung ating magiging sagot dito sa 30 minus 16 plus 20. So, tingnan mabuti... Wala pa ito sa ating lowest term, pwede pang i-divide yung ating numerator and denominator by 2 para makuha natin yung simplest form. So, ang ating final answer is 17 over 20. So, ito yung ating magiging final answer. Proceed na tayo sa multiplication of fractions. Ang ating given is 4 thirds times 1 eighth. So, di ba ang rule natin sa pag-multiply ng fractions ay multiply natin numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. Ganun pa rin naman ang ating gagamitin. Kaya lang, ang ibibigay kong tip is kapag may nakita kayo na magka-cross, ito kagaya ng 4 at saka 8, na pwede nating paliitin. Okay? Gagamit tayo ng cross reduction. I-reduce na natin para ang makuha natin agad is yung sagot na naka-simplest form. Okay? So, kung re-reduce natin yan, si 4 at saka si 8, pareho yung pwedeng i-divide sa 4. So, 4 divided by 4, ito ay magiging 1. And then, si 8 naman, 8 divided by 4, magiging 2 na yan. So, tsaka natin i-multiply, 1 times 1, answer is 1, numerator, and then 3 times 2, answer is 6. So, ito na tayo ngayon sa ating simplest form. Okay, so ganun kabilis. 
What if our given is 6 times 5 over 36? We have a whole number and a fraction. So, tandaan natin lagi ang whole number ay mayroong denominator na 1. Okay? And tingnan natin, pa-cross. So, imagine natin ha, ang denominator ng 6 ay 1. So, si 6 at saka si 36, yung magka-cross natin, pwede natin niyang i-reduce. Okay? So, pwede silang i-divide pareho by 6. So, i-reduce natin. 6 divided by 6, we have 1. And then, 36 divided by 6, we have 6. So, this is our final answer, 5 over 6. Kasi nakalawas term na ito. Alright, proceed na tayo sa division of fractions. Okay, napakasimple lang ng ating shortcut para dito. Hindi na natin kailangang gumamit ng pagre-reciprocal. Ang gagawin lang natin is to cross-multiply. Okay, multiply natin si 2 tsaka si 5. So, laging uunahin natin is yung numerator dito and then yung pangalawang denominator. Okay? So, we have 2 times 5. Cross-multiply natin yan. Okay? Answer natin is 10. Okay? 2 times 5, we have 10. Tapos, yung ating magiging denominator, dito manggagaling. 3 times 7, answer is 21. Now, observe kung ang ating given or ang ating sagot ay nasa lowest term na. Kung nasa lowest term na, this is our final answer, 10 over 21. Let's proceed to another example. Ayan, we have here a mixed fraction, 2 and 1 fourth divided by 1 third. So again, kailangan natin ayusin ito. Gawin natin siyang improper fraction, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina doon sa addition. So, 4 times 2, we have 8 plus 1. Answer is 9. Yun yung ating magiging bagong numerator. Kopyahin lang natin si 4, which is our denominator. So, we have 9 fourths divided by 1 third. So, cross multiply. Okay. So, we have 9 times 3 and then 1 times 4. So, dito muna tayo sa magiging numerator. 9 times 3, answer is 27. And then 1 times 4, the answer is 4. Okay. So, if we have here an improper fraction, kagaya ng sagot natin kanina sa addition, and ang hinihingi is yung mixed number or mixed fraction na sagot, okay, pakita ko lang yung method kung paano natin gagawin mixed fraction. I-divide natin si 27 by 4, okay? So, 27 divided by 4, our answer there is 6. And then, 6 times 4, we have 24. I-minus natin, 27 minus 24, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 3 or remainder na 3. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dyan is, si 6, kukunin natin yan as a whole number. And then, si 3, siya yung magiging numerator. And then, yung 4, dito, siya yung ating denominator. So, our answer sa mixed number or mixed fraction is 6 and 3 fourths. So, yan yung ating magiging sagot. Let's have our final example sa division of fractions. Ayan, meron na naman tayong whole number and a fraction. So, kagaya kanina, tandaan na ang 2 dito ay mayroong denominator na 1. Okay? So, cross-multiply natin si 2 kay 3 and then 7 doon kay 1. O, dun muna tayo sa magiging numerator natin. So, 2 times 3. Ang magiging sagot natin is 6. And then, yung 7 times yung 1 Okay, we have 7. So, this is our final answer, 6 over 7. So, thanks for watching. That's it. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa ating tutorial for this episode. See you again sa ating next tutorial. So, again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.